What up guys, what's going on? So recently I've been getting a lot of interview questions and stuff and I just wanna share my insight with you about my experiences with interviews and give you some knowledge about interviews that you might have not heard before. Honestly, everybody hears the, oh, dress professionally, talk really slowly, basic stuff like that. But I wanna help up your game 10X, you know, give you the homie hookup, right? A lot of these things I use to prepare for my interviews and I hope they'll be helpful for you as well. First thing, you want to stop thinking about yourself too much. So many people go into an interview thinking about, I have done this in the past, I used to work at blah blah blah, me, 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 me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so you should really be thinking about them. Because honestly, if you look at it from their point of view, get inside their head, they're taking a huge risk by hiring someone they don't exactly know. Even though you might be a great person, they don't know that. And so they're really trying to get a feel for you. Think of it as speed dating. You guys are spending 15 to 30 minutes together in a room trying to get to know each other, right? There's certain things that you like, there's certain things that they like, and you're just trying to make a mutual agreement together, right? So what I do typically, I sit down and brainstorm like what are their biggest uh, pain points? What are, the, what are the things that they wanna get? And how do you sort of fit in the picture? Um, so for me, when I was doing pharmacy and whatnot, I knew that I was really good at customer service and sales. That's like a dream fit for a lot of pharmacies. So the position I was originally applying for was a low volume store and they wanted to increase their scripts and stuff like that. So I knew those strengths going in and everything I talked about, I really focused on me wanting to help them, especially with those skills. And that leads me to my second point, positioning. So you want to, you're not gonna be great at everything. And I think sometimes like when you're in an interview or talking about yourself or talking about your, your the skills that you can add to the company you want to you want to think about what your positioning is what do you want to be known for after the interview do you want to be the sales guy what unique characteristic do you want to leave a lasting impression on them and really repeat that over but not being like oh i'm good at sales i'm good at sales i'm good at sales but have sort of stories prepared ahead of time which leads me to my third point you want to have good stories behind them backing everything up. When I was at CVS, I was really good at KPM or key performance metrics, the things that really drive the sales, right? And one of the things I did was in my district, there were a lot of low performing stores. And I was like, hey, where can I fit in? How can I help these people? The thing that I really want to help people with was not only like hit their sales numbers and feel good and shit, but to actually get their bonus this year. I think something like that is really relatable and it's a win-win for everyone. What I did was I basically created this coaching program for that district by kind of demonstrating or talking about that process. Um, it shows that you have initiative, that you care about other people, and you're a team player, you know, and you don't need to say those things. Even better, I like to do something called the briefcase technique, which I learned from Ramit Sethi. That's your big dick card. I have a proposal or like an action plan, or if you're too scared to that, do that, or if you don't know what a company wants or what somebody wants, then show them one of your old previous action plans and stuff. And that really says a lot about the way you think, the way you analyze, the way you execute, right? Usually I'll pull this near the beginning just so that we have a focus piece and they can ask me questions about what I did and stuff like that. So honestly, action speaks louder in words. As cliche as that sounds, it really does mean something. There's people that just talk all the time, but fuck it, you know, results are the things that show. Also, when you go into interview, you shouldn't be asking really basic questions like, oh, what do you guys do? Or what is this company about? You should know all that shit going in. You want to stock the shit out of them. Kind of get idea of who are you interviewing with. So one of the things that I do, type on Google, LinkedIn, and see what some of their accomplishments were and really get inside their head and really understand that'll give you more information to sort of understand what they want what sort of things they focus on right but try to think about some of the potential problems are and if you get a chance if you have an expert in the field or like a mentor try to ask them for advice too and see if you're not just totally off one of the things i did when when i was interviewing i didn't really have I didn't really check my ideas with anyone else, so it made me sound like hella crazy one time when I was interviewing. 
But yeah, those are some of the uh, tips I have for interviewing. If you guys got any additional tips, please leave them below. But I just wanted to give a different perspective about interviewing. Everybody talks about the tactics. Tactics are good and they get you up to the first level. But if you want to be a top performer for a interview, you gotta, you gotta think higher level. And these are some of the th things that I do to prepare and try to stand out from other people. Anyways guys, you got more interview questions, leave them below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.